In 2008, a miraculous mystery of medicine occurred. A man was cured of AIDS. This was the first and the last known case in nearly 60 million cases. It is not yet known how he was cured. Science has been able to find the cure for almost all diseases. But why can't we cure HIV AIDS? Well, the answer lies in its structure. Come, let's find out more about the structure of HIV in this video. Over 40 million people in the world are suffering from AIDS. And the number is increasing by leaps and bounds. Though it is a high-risk disease, it can be prevented if greater awareness is meted out. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, or AIDS, is a disease of the human immune system. A closer look inside an artery shows numerous RBCs and the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. HIV has a spherical envelope with several glycoprotein projections, which help in the process of binding. It shows the presence of a lipid bilayer and a core. The core consists of RNA strands and a reverse transcriptase enzyme. This virus is the causative agent of Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome or AIDS. HIV is a member of a group of viruses called retrovirus whose genetic material is made up of RNA. When HIV moves in the bloodstream, it comes in contact with the T helper TH cells. A closer look at a T helper cell reveals that its surface has numerous glycoprotein receptors. These glycoprotein receptors are of two types, the CD4 receptor and the core receptor or secondary receptor known as the CCR5 receptor. These CD4 receptors attach themselves to the flexible HIV surface proteins and fit them on the core receptor. This binding leads to the fusion of the virus with the membrane and the virus infects the Th cell. Inside the T helper cells, the RNA genome of the virus is converted into DNA with the help of the reverse transcriptase enzyme and this process is called reverse transcription. This viral DNA enters the host cell's DNA and this viral DNA after transcription produces viral mRNA. This mRNA codes for all the proteins required for the synthesis of new viral particles. HIV also infects macrophages in a similar way. This infection causes the TH cell to become diseased. Inside this TH cell, the virus replicates itself and they are eventually released. The viruses mature and become capable of infecting other TH cells. The diseased TH cell finally disintegrates. Thus, due to the destruction of TH cells, which form a vital part of the immune system, the body's immunity is severely compromised. Recent medical advances have developed certain fusion inhibitors which are helpful in restricting the virus from spreading. These inhibitors attach themselves to the surface proteins of HIV and cause a conformational change and a loss of flexibility. Due to this, the CD4 receptors fail to align these surface proteins. As a result, the virus is unable to enter the TH cell. Thus, the virus is rendered helpless thereby arresting further damage caused by the HIV. AIDS is a silent killer, so we need to be aware of its causes and modes of transmission. Causes 
the AIDS virus is transmitted through infected blood transfusion. Pregnant mothers, if HIV positive, are liable to transmit the virus to the fetus. Drug addicts who take drugs intravenously are at a high risk of transmission. Another important mode of transmission is through unprotected sexual contact. Symptoms People with AIDS often have systemic symptoms like fever. They have swollen lymph glands due to weakened immunity. They may also show AIDS dementia complex when nerve damage causes diminished mental functioning. Detection. A widely used diagnostic test for AIDS is enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA. Treatment of AIDS with viral drugs is only partially effective. The best way to restrict the spread of AIDS is to be aware and get regular blood tests done. Since medications cannot cure AIDS, but can only prevent it from progressing. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, AIDS, is a disease of the human immune system. HIV has a spherical shape and this virus is the causative agent of AIDS. HIV is a part of a group of viruses called retrovirus. The RNA genome of HIV is converted into DNA by reverse transcription with the help of the reverse transcriptase enzyme. As HIV moves in the bloodstream, it comes in contact with the T helper cells or TH cells. Then it binds to the cell. This binding leads to the fusion of the virus with the membrane and the virus infects the TH cell. This infection causes the TH cell to become diseased. Inside this TH cell, the virus replicates itself and they are eventually released. This diseased TH cell finally disintegrates. Thus, due to the destruction of the TH cells, which form a vital part of the immune system, immunity is severely compromised. The AIDS virus is transmitted through the transfusion of infected blood. Pregnant mothers, if HIV positive, are liable to transmit the virus to the fetus. Transmission can happen through unprotected sexual contact and by sharing needles used for taking drugs intravenously. AIDS can be detected by the diagnostic test enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA.